Ryan Sand and his girlfriend Erica Steiner. Um, Ryan Sand and his girlfriend Erica Steiner are on the list, and they will always be on the list because they're social justice warriors. Hmm. Yeah, they were the ones that were upset when you, uh, when they were called Nia Jax hot dogs, right, or cheeseburger, whatever it was. Uh, they went to a show, and they were, st- and I think Erica Steiner was tweeting what detestable person <laughs> that was sitting behind them yelling cheeseburger at Nia Jax. Yes. Let me talk about the women's revolution <laughs> while we're at it here. While yeah. we're at it here. Did you see the clip from the Lacey Evans um, uh, Becky match? Yes, indeed. The botches, the botcha mania, it was like a botcha mania because it was just horrible. Appalling. And like, yeah, it was so, bro, it's just like I said, they try to do these spots that require a degree of difficulty for girls. Right. And it's just, they fuck them up constantly. Right. And it just is not, look, it looks terrible. Not that it doesn't look good, it ends up on botcha mania. Yeah, like right. a basic spot, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I noticed also, did you see... That Ronda Rousey, the two of the concussions that Alexa Bliss got were from the same move from Ronda Rousey. Yeah, headlock takeover. Headlock takeover. How about that? I'm just saying, I think, you know, bro, this is for, for girls out there. If you're thinking of wrestling, there's a very high chance that you're probably going to get concussed or injured. It's a very difficult thing to, thing to do, professional wrestling. The mat is hard. The ropes are hard. It's just, you know, it's not, it's not easy. Especially like, not only it, that, bro, when you look at, and I can't imagine how small she probably is in person. She's little. She looks really tiny. Yeah. You know, kind of like Sasha. Because I've seen Sasha in person, you know. Oh, she's real small, too? Yeah. Yeah, Alexa's like five yeah, feet. Yeah, very delicate, very yeah. thin. Yeah. Now, like, why, <laughs> why would that happen? I mean, if, if there's, you know, one cause or, or something you could think of, uh, how would a headlock takeover cause a concussion specifically? Because I'll tell you, I'll tell she's you, holding I'll her too I'll tell tight. you exactly why. Ronda's bringing when you do when you do a headlock takeover, okay, you're supposed to drop down on one knee and then take the person over because there's like a chain of events going on there where the person that's being taken over, like when you see the person start to do the move for you, you can set yourself up to take right. a good but slap. But she whips point. you around. She, she whips you right down like a shoot. Yeah. Right. And, and so, so she whipped her head, whipped her right down into the match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like whiplash. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, so that's, you know, I mean. So Ronda's bringing it. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But that's her. That's their fault. Because they did not teach her how they teach her how to like do do this the stuff that she does, but they're not how to teach her how to do a professional wrestling style. Yeah, and after she yeah. did it the first time, yeah, there should have been something. Go watch, go watch. If you guys get a chance, watch Bret Hart versus Kurt Henning when they work. Huh. They do they do the headlock takeover, but Henning feeds into it so fast, and he does yeah. it, he does it like an arm drag. Yeah, yeah. All right. Like he just snatches a head and in one motion the head it's like it's like a headlock arm drag. Bro, headlock. I used to love the one where like he would grab his hand on mm-hmm. the rope and you would kick him in behind the leg and yeah. he'd yeah. do that. Whole, yeah, yeah, big, whole big bump. Yeah, he, so the he bump. was ridiculously that, crazy. That's part of being a great worker is taking is is doing these big oversells on bumps sometimes that look very entertaining. 